Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera, and we are on air. Uh, we have moved to the front. Um, there's quite a situation going on here. When you look at that, it probably would deter a lot of people and me for a minute or two until you get looking at it, right? Um, we've got no floor in the front whatsoever. Uh, what, what do you do? You know, basically. Um, what I have started off doing is I've run a piece of square stock from this side to that side get my 92 and a half, make sure it stayed there. I put the, you see me put the ratchet straps on there, pulled it to 92 and a half, just to make sure it's 92 and a half. Then I run a piece up from the front part where it connects to the wheel, make sure that's 92 and a half. And I've got a piece of square stock running from this side to that side. If we come back to the back of the truck, uh, if you remember or not, or if you know or seen, I've ran a piece of three quarter inch from side to side. And the reason I ran the three quarter inch is because I did not need, or I, I do not think I need the three quarter inch laying, or the inch laying on the floor, three quarter inch is good enough. And I tied this side to that side. And also what I did with the square stock, there's square stock running in here. I can't go across that cord there, right? I can go across there now. Let's go across there just to, just to explain what's going on so you know what's going on. I welded a piece of square stock, a three-quarter square stock. I welded all the way along the floor and I come out to this outside rail, made it sure it was 92 and a half from there to there. Now this rail cannot pull out because I connected this on the floor here, welded that there and welded it all the way along there. That's good and rigid there now. I could pull on that truck. You could probably throw it off the Bay of Fundy and wouldn't hurt it any, but that's in place. So I did the exact same thing over here as I got this in place. I've nailed it on right behind the wheel well opening and I've nailed this right on the front of the wheel well opening. Where I have the wheels, I have to more or less do the exact same thing as I've done here. So what I'm, that's what I'm going to do. I do not know if I'm going to use this square stock inside here or not. Do not know if I'm going to use that square stock in there. But I know I'm going to use this piece and this piece to make the wheel well. Um, yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Where I've got it welded here, I've got it connected to the floor of the truck. I've got the exact same thing going on the other side. It's connected to the floor of the truck and it's connected to the outside. Not going anywhere. If I cut the center out of this, it's still not going anywhere because I'm connected here to there. Uh, on the front, uh, if I disconnect it, it, it can go somewhere wherever it wants to because I've got nothing connected to the chassis yet. So this is what I'm going to do to solve my pickle. I've got some more square stock here. You gotta be careful, you know, just using this stuff like candy. I have, we're gonna keep this right here. So we can let my Queen Jolene in around what's going on. I have a situation right, I want a tape measure. See that tape measure we have? Got a situation right. Well, this is there somewhere. Now I've got this square stock running here. I've got this square stock running here, all the way across. If I want to make a wheel well, I got the wheel turned right at the present moment. So this is what it's telling me. I may as well run a piece of square stock from here to there, which is 35. 35. That's great. Perfect. Um, if I run a piece from here to there, that keeps that gives me a square box like the back. And then what I plan on doing, once I run this from there to there, then I can plunk a piece from this piece going across down to the chassis. And the reason I'm thinking about doing that, let's, let's get a little bit in and then I'll explain that reason after. So I want a piece 35. It's quite something else when you get a bunch of cords running. It can really be um, defeating sometimes. I like my other glasses just a little bit better. It's a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia. Jolene looks beautiful today. You might even get to see her, I'm not sure. What did I say, 35 and a half? I thought it was 35. Gotta watch myself. Gotta watch myself. And she is right. 35. We need two of them. Well, 
probably do them right now while I'm down here. Hello, Fina. Fina the dog. Somehow, I knew that was going to happen. I have been fortunate enough not to have any problems with the grinder and a zip cut. I probably shouldn't even talk like that, but I have. I've been fortunate not to have any problems. Every once in a while, you'll get a kickback, but... Um, I'm generally pretty, pretty lucky about that. Now, where I have that there, 35. Where I have that like that, I can run that in there a little closer. Yes, I can. But to be all honest with you, I have no, nothing underneath here to, to support it. So um, I may as well move it over here, weld it in here, then I can put a piece of bar from here down to there, which will support the wheel opening. Makes sense to me. Uh, and then I have chassis back there that can support that. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab, turn the welder on. I could measure in the distance I could. Yes, I can. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a square. Got a square over there. I'll stick a piece on where I like it. And then I'll make sure I measure the other end so it's the same. If that makes sense. So I'm going to put it on top of the chassis with a square, weld it, and then measure the other end the same as what I nailed it on. Or I can just put it, measure it and be done with it. I'd probably just measure it and be done with it. Two feet's the mark. I would love to have a marker, sweetheart, if you're able to get me one. I apologize. Not being ready. Thank you, baby. She's my lady. We're gonna go two feet. Seems like an easy choice. Two feet. And we're the same distance on, what am I going to say? We're the same distance at 92 and a half on both pieces from there to there, there to there. So this should be good. This should be good. And <laughs> she's going to pass me the helmet too, boys. Huh? And she's going to pass me the helmet too. Maybe I can get her to weld her up for me too. Huh? Maybe. I'm just gonna stick that on that line. Yeah. I just put my hip against that a little bit and bring that in. to say stop it once in a while just to make sure it listens to me okay I'm gonna weld this sucker in sometimes when you're working on a car you have to let it know that you want to be the boss Whether it listens or not, that's another thing. Might as well run the weld down here. Is my mic acting all muffly with the...
probably most of the welds that I have on the truck, I will not grind off. And the reason being is I want all the strength I can get. Uh, the only weld that I probably, w well, uh, that I will grind off is anything on the outside for when I'm laying sheets of metal on it. It would be underneath the, the metal or the outside and it would distort the outside. So I'd end up grinding it all off on the outside. But the inside, this sort of stuff, I probably will just leave it like it doesn't much matter. Now, where that, where this control arm is pivoting right here, this, this area shouldn't move that much. Outside here would move quite a bit, but where, the, where I'm so close to where it's pivoting, I think we should be fine. That's quite, that'd be quite a distance for that to come out and hit that. I think we'd be in trouble. I want to say in trouble, but um, it would be quite a smash for that to um, hit there. One thing I will say, um, working in here is not the best for the back. <laughs> not the best for the back. Two feet, just, just an easy, an easy mark. Thank you everybody for coming back. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. I hope that you like what's going on. And if you don't, it's okay to pretend. Isn't the baby? It's okay to pretend. Hold that sucker on there. Yeah, so it's Sunday fun day, and I'm making some wheel openings. So this is what I see, what's going on here. And I hope you see it also. I have a square box here. I have a square box over there. The back wheel wells in the truck are the exact same way. So I, I may as well, that worked fine for up there. We'll build a square box over top of this wheel. We'll build a square box over top of this wheel. We will have wheel wells, basically. Um, same thing should happen in the back of the wheel well. Like we can go run a, excuse me, a mud flat from here down to there. We can run a mud flat from there down to the bottom. Exact same on that side, on this side. Um, what I want to do now is I want to support this. Um, up back there, um, we're, we're on the floor, so it, supporting everything where it's out here like there's no real support so i'm going to nail this here down to the chassis um, i want it to use inch here because there's less support than back there back there we had the whole floor across all kinds of support up here there's nothing other than the square stock that we're running across um, so that's why i'm using a little heavier uh, walled stuff the thicker stuff also, with the wheel well, do not know whether I'm cutting this out, bringing it down some, or if I'm just going to leave it where it be. As we see the floor, this square stock is running on top of the floor. 
And I can, I can leave that square stock there and run the floor underneath the square stock because we're laying right on top of the floor and we can run it right up to here if we want it to, if we want to. So we can run the floor underneath um, or we can cut it out and run it, whatever. Um, we could put a panel inside there. I'm just thinking to myself as I'm talking to you, um, it'd be nice maybe if I, Joanne's saying, weld that in there. <laughs> You're kicking me over some metal? And she is, so uh, I'm gonna grab some square stock and I'm gonna cut some pieces for underneath of the front end there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab three or four pieces. I'm gonna mark them and cut them. I'm not gonna use the tape measure. I'm gonna slide them up underneath what's going on underneath the chassis. And then I'm just gonna scratch them off and mark it. I'm gonna use what I have here to make them and see if I can't I have enough. Use all that stuff if I can, see what happens. Now, um, I'm gonna run them back a little bit further here. That's gonna set on that one. Uh, this is metals laying on top of that, so I better do it with the crew reed. I'm gonna lay it right there. I'm going to, I'll get it, baby, I'll get it. I'll get it, I'll get it. I'm just gonna bring the zip cut right in with me, maybe even a zip cut. Make it easier on me and I'll slide them in there. I'm going to do is is I'll put I'll cut this one get it in there where I think that we're going to use it and then I'll measure them off the same hopefully Absolutely lovely. I'm gonna mark that so I don't put another one in. Um, we're six and a half inches. I'll end up squaring that up a little bit. Six and a half inches. Get it close. Six and a half inches from no, we're seven, six and a half might be from the front of it. So it's going on this side. Sometimes you can get messed up um, doing something like that. Yes, you can. Just gonna put that on there. Maybe on a straight angle. We may as well do the same, same for the back. Actually, um, I might as well tack them in there. Helmet's right there. And the reason being is they're there. 
Um, and I'm right here. I'm going to tack it at the top where I have the six and a half, and then I'm going to I'm going to rely on Jolene to stand back, take a look, and tell me if um, it's straight up and down or not. Okay, so I have it in there. Can you look from side angle and just tell me if it's straight up and down? If I had a small square, I could put it in there, but look okay? The bottom can go forward? What's that? This go that way? Oh, back. <laughs> Clamps want to keep coming apart. That's good. Just a little bit more. Oh, ripped it off. Right there. Are you still satisfied? Do you want a level, a baby level? No. Just this is just something yeah. you're never gonna see this. You still satisfied? Yeah. Okay, good. Put this nailed in. Looking at it this way. Yeah, we're fine. We're gonna go to the other side there, sweetie pie. I'm gonna nail it in at the top. And then you're going to tell me, what did I nail that one in at? Six and a half. I'm just going to make a mark here. Six and a half. All righty. You must, you must, you must. Okay. Go which way? I'm going to just knock this on up here. Watch your eyes. And the bottom has to go. Does that look good? Good enough for my queen Jolene is good enough for me. And that's that's the the part where you get good at with your eye is doing sort of stuff like that. Does it look good? Does it look good? And if it looks good, does it really matter if it's right or if it's wrong as long as it looks good? I guess that's the art of it, you know. That's the art of it. So, we have something there now um, you could stand on. You could stand on that. You're not shoving down that. You're not going to bend that. Uh, that's 3 sixteenths, one inch square start. You're not bending that, stand on that. You're not going to push that down through that chassis, but we're going to put one back through there. And we got another one to put in there. And um, we're going to mark six and a half. And we'll do the exact same thing. I guess. Sometimes the, the helmet's a bit much. Sometimes. Get 
the exact same thing. No. Uh, six and a half. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Just keep rolling, man. Just keep rolling. Yeah. Like I said, you're not going to bend that stuff. All you're going to do is make your head soft. <laughs> make your head soft. That's all you're going to do. Alrighty, we got a piece in there. We're going forward on that, I think. We're going to make a little angle on this one. I've got to. Got to cut a little angle on it. I fit the chassis. I know, take the marker out of your mouth. Deadly little pieces for the knees. A deadly. Deadly. So we'll stick. You're gonna tell me if it looks okay, my sweetie pies that look straight up and down somewhat. And then I can mark it on the my in top towards you. Top? Yep, that's good. There? Ah. See what happens. See what happens. I'm going to connect it at the top, hopefully. I probably didn't cut it right. How's that look? It looks good. Huh? Good. That looks good? Yeah, I like it. Amazing. Awesome. I'm just going to grab the welder, give her a touch, we close my eyes. Still look good? She looks good, boy. She looks good. I'm a lucky man. I'm a lucky man. And I know it. And we know that we could stand on that, and that's not going nowhere. Let's do another one. We're having just so much fun. Sunday fun day, just having so much fun. Queen Jolene, does that look somewhere up straight up and down or no or bring the front forward a little? The what? The front forward. Or the top forward, sorry. I, I gotta I gotta do the back and bottom like that. Does that look okay?
So, like when when I'm doing this stuff, or when you're working on your project, and you and you come to something, um, just I guess go with the idea that you have. If it does not work, then you're going to have to back up and go another way. That's basically how I'm doing things here. Um, if it does not work out, then I just I back up and go another way. Um, we all must obviously know that the way I'm building this truck right at the present moment is not. I did not foresee everything that I'm doing right at the present moment. It's one day at a time, and you try to, you know, jump each hurdle as you get rocking and rolling. Uh, my first piece of this project was to make a foundation for the bottom of the truck to get it to go all the way around, I guess. And then my next uh, issue was to try to connect it to the truck. So I connected it all the way to the truck. After I connected it to the truck, then I had to get a top going all the way around the same to put roof rafters on. It's basically, you're just, you're just uh, one day at a time and uh, it'll work out that way. If you try to see everything, uh, it will not happen. I'm going to need more weld on that stuff. I'll have to weld more of it up. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Alrighty there, my Queen Jolene. How does that look? Oh. Get that out of the way so you can see it. What? Does that look pretty good? Yeah. Alright. Man. Easy going today, you are. Does that still look okay? Yep. Just gonna knock it in here some. Man! Still looking okay there, sweetheart? Yep. Just gonna knock it in a little bit, get a helmet on. As I get looking at this um, truck, and the motor mounts, I got looking at the motor mounts. We made motor mounts for our 60 or 58 um, Thunderbird. I like ours better than theirs. So yeah, I like ours better than theirs. And I'm allowed. Is that still looking okay? Yeah. Cool. It's funny, you know, we, uh, you know, did a, little, did a little bit of research on these, or Jolene has, has brought them up. And these tankers that, you know, this tanker that I'm inspired by, the Texaco tanker, is for uh, fueling up airplanes, was it not? And that's why it was built low and things like that. And it's funny, when you go to the airport, you still see odd looking vehicles that are running around with luggage on them or whatever um, to do what needs to be done for airplanes, but it's just, yeah. Never thought of it. Different vehicles for different applications, I guess. And uh, if you don't know, I obviously like the odd looking thing. And the reason being is um, not everybody's got one. And I, I enjoy the art of the car. I really do. I enjoy the art of it. So I'm going to jump out for a second. Move for a second. Let's, let's do this. Now that I have what I got going on, now that I have that sectioned up, um, now this, this process can begin. Let's, let's do a little bit of it. Let's, let's, just, let's just do a little bit of it. Um, I'm gonna take a tape measure and go into the other side.
And then once I get the wheel wells, um, the box made for exactly like back there, once I get that box made, then I can continue on and bring this up and finish this off. And I hope you can see that because I can. I can. We're at four and we're going to do a three quarter bend in a set a piece on. So we're going to go four. Let's do it. Let's cut some four, four, three quarter. Excuse me, sweetie pie. Jolene looks amazing today as always. As always. Look at that piece of metal right there. I'll take it. I'll take it. I got a nice cut on this end right here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use this part. I'm gonna mark a four and three quarter, and then I'm gonna mark a four. I'll have both marks done before I even move. Four, four and three quarter. So I'm gonna cut it off at four and three quarter. And I'm going to use the other mark for the break. Now, I've almost got a piece there, almost three feet long. I can tell because my break is almost three, is three feet long. So that's... There's one piece. Ah, 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 one piece. Let's do it again. So we'll have two pieces. So, if you watch yesterday, when I put this in the brake, what's the first thing that comes to your brain? I know what comes to mine. Do not bend it farther than a 90. So I'd have to tap it with a hammer. Do not do that. Bring it back, cut off that one. this back a little bit. Yeah, so I want to I'm going to measure, measure right now and see if these are 35. 35 and a half. So these are the ones that I will be using for the square stock. Okay, square stock 35. These will be the ones I'm going to use for that. I'm going to mark and cut them right now. Do I dare? Do I dare? Do I dare? Do you know what I mean? All right. Do I dare? Well, I think I do. Thirty-five. Stop it. No, we'll just do. We'll just do one. That side. again. Let's take it down and see what we got to do. I don't know if it's one or two. Ah. Take measures, come with me. Looks better already. Sure that get it too far. Much better, Chatty. Much better. Now we got square stock. You can see square stock on the outside on that one. I may as well do the exact same. 
backwards just a little bit just a little bit I only have to do an inch because I'm not going up all the way I'm just going up through Right there, I'm also using. I'm also using. Hmm. If I can even get him in there. Stop it. So that would be my first piece, just like up there. Then I'm gonna make a piece for in here and over there. That's what I'm gonna do. And I think we'll be cooking with gas. So instead of taking you through that process again, so I've got that piece made. I got another one to make here, put on the inside here. We're gonna make one goes across here. Stand good flat. We've got one stand going across here flat. When it comes time to, when it comes time to uh, put a cup, put a top on this, this is what I'm thinking. Uh, you can throw a comment in if you want to. Um, this is what I'm thinking though. Instead of making the door here, where I have to get down and, and try to get into it, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a hatch door at the top. Probably just one. You could make two. You could put one on this side. And what I'm thinking is, it says three quarter inch square stock following this shape. Cut the metal that I put on top of here to the door itself. We have some actuators back here so it opens up. You could open up on both sides if you wanted to, but I'm thinking one should be fine to, you know, less work. We'll maybe make a door that comes up. So this will be a hatch door that comes up. Um, where this is very industrial, I'm thinking a step and a step. So there could be a little step back there, a little step here, and then, then you would go down inside the truck instead of trying to make yourself small again. Step, step, down inside the truck. The door is going to be flopped up. You're going to stand on this piece here, um, and that's why I went with the extra heavy-duty um, one-inch square stock there. So this is going to be built up four inches. We might even put one across the middle and we might even um, well we are going to put a heavier metal there because I'm thinking that's how I'm going to get into it me and or whoever is getting into it that's what I'm thinking it's going to be a hatch door with the rafters uh, da, 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 da. I'm thinking I'm not sure thinking Dougie might be back tomorrow uh, and then we'll not maybe knock off some rafters and we'll get some rafters put on uh, I measured the engine. We only need two feet to get it in, and then we can turn it once we get it in there. But uh, thank you very much for coming back. I appreciate it. Going to finish up the wheel wells just like I did these ones. Will not be bead rolling the top of them, no doubt in my mind, because the metal is going to be too thick. I might end up putting like a, a checker plate or something on the top so you would not slip, maybe, something or other. But anyways, thank you very much for coming back. And people keep buying the gear, man. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. So what I'm going to say is like, share, comment, come back, see you tomorrow, and get someone to subscribe. Have a great day.